Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another new concept that is HTML tables. Up to now, we have seen all the different types of elements, HTML elements we have seen, something like uh, layout elements and uh, paragraph elements. These are all the things we have seen, right? Now, we haven't learned about this one. So if in order to show the tabular data, if you want to show any tabular data in the HTML, so we haven't find any relevant HTML element regarding to this showing that tabular data. So now how we can show if you have, if you are having a tabular data means how we can show in the HTML. So we have a special type of elements that is called as an table element. So we can use by using this table element, we can show the tabular data. Let's say for example, Let's create a simple a, a simple file, something like tables.html. So I am creating HTML file here. So this is the HTML file, the code snippet. Now let's say that I am having a table of data, something like uh, the person details. So the person name, the age he, he belongs to, uh, the age, what is the age he's having and the country he belongs to and the total income or something like that. Okay. So let's try to show the uh, simple thing. So let's say that we are having a table. So for showing this table data, so we will use the table like this. So this is the table element. And now for, now the first one is the row. Okay. So TR. Let's say that this is the first row. Let's say that we are having a list of countries data showing something like USA, UK, China and India let's assume okay we are having some countries four countries like this now let's say let's see that how the output will be visualized here so now we are having a sim we have created a simple table element inside this table we are having a tr and the td let's try to see the output now if you try to see the output here so here we are able to see usa uk china india side by side now here this one is showing something like inline elements Let's try to draw the borders for this table. So we can use the border is equal to one. So we can also use by using the CSS, but let's try to see. Okay. So this is the table. Now, if you want to mention the width, we can use the attribute something like width is equal to hundred percent. So let's try to see the output. Now here we are able to see the complete table structure so that it is having one, two, three, four, so four columns. And now if you try to see, there is a spacing between the rows okay so between the columns and all those things there are spacing between the cells so in order to remove this one we can use the cell spacing so we haven't learned about the css and all those things so we are trying to achieve it only through the html now i have applied cell spacing so let's sorry cell spacing is equal to zero we need to apply is equal to zero now see the spacing has been removed but you are getting double, some double thick lines you are getting so let's keep it like that only now we are having the table data now let's try to see that i am adding another country something like germany or anything now where this data will appear so now as soon as you add as soon as you add a new a new country here so a new column will be created automatically and germany will be added here so one two three four five so there are five columns in this one previously it used to have only four columns now a new column has been added Germany. So that means by this you need to understand that upon adding every TD, okay, every TD, TD is nothing but the table data and here this is nothing but a table row. Upon adding every TD, okay, every TD we are adding. So let's add we are upon new country we are adding. Upon adding every TD, a new column will be created here. So that means you need to understand that TD is used to create a column. Now I want to create a new row. Okay, I want to new create a new row that. So here down I need to show some details, some other country. So here it's enough for me. I want to show down in the second row. I want to show the country names. So how can I show here? So when I am trying to add the TD, it is creating a new column instead of creating a new row. So for creating a new row, again you need to create another TR. So this TR will create the table row inside this tr we are trying to create a columns so here i can create a column okay so here i can add the country names so now if i try to add the country names here if you try to see 
see the Italy has been came down in the second row first column so in the second column if I want to add a new another one means what I need to do so here I can add and I can do something like like this so if you try to see here so here it will be added so this is how we will be adding the table data the data in the tabular form now if you try to understand here we have learned about the three elements important elements that is nothing but table table row table data these things we have learned so table uh, tr is used for creating a table row td is used for creating the table data and the table is for the table structure so this one is fine so up to now what we have learned is fine now what i want is i want to show at the top uh the heading okay the heading i want to show so for each column i need to show some heading so now for example let's say that this is our uh, dummy data let's try to remove this one and i am creating a new table another table so i will be adding border is equal to one so that we can see the border so cell spacing i will make it as zero and uh, what I, wa I want to make the width as 100 percent so this is our table now what i will try to do is so in this one tr i will be having one table row i am creating so in this table row i am creating something like person one so this is the name of the person and his age is around 25 and he is from usa okay so this is our table data let's try to see the output fine we are able to see that the name of the person is person one the age is 25 and the country he is coming is usa let's try to add another person so another person if you want to add means where we need to add we need to add it in a new row so we want a new row so for creating a new row we know that we need to create a tr okay in this tr so another new person person 2 now the age of this one is around 30 let's say and he is from uk let's say show now this is the second person details now let's try to see the output yeah fine we are able to see the second person details also now the th so let's try to add the third person details also person 3 okay so his age is 36 and he is from india now let's try to see the output yeah so we are able to see the person 1 person 2 person 3 and the age is the relevant ages and the country where they are from so we are able to see we are able to understand this person 1 belongs to usa and this person 2 belongs to uk by seeing this tabular data why because they are on the same row and different columns now we understood so by seeing this tabular data and the type of data we are able to determine that the first column gives you the details of the name of the person the second column gives the age and the third column gives the country shows the country so by seeing the data we are able to determine it but when we want to show this to another person so the person may not able to understand this one 25 30 36 he may not understand about this one so whether it is an age or something else okay now what i need to do so somehow we need to show that heading for this one so for each column we need to show a heading in such a way that so what is this column data belongs to so what it is exactly the column data and what is this column data so now we need to show the headings for each column so we know that showing the heading is also a one type of uh, row so let's try to add the row at the type at the top now we know that td the first cell that means first column shows the name of the person the second column sh shows the age and the last one is country okay so now this is the thing so now you know that the first tr shows the heading of the each column and these are all the table data okay they will shows the details of the table now if you try to see here so there is name age country and these are all the person details now let's try to so now if you try to see so this three column these three rows represents the table data but this is this does not belongs to the table data actually this belongs to the table heading so now in order to show the column name as a table heading so we have a special element that is nothing but head h th so we can represent it with the instead of td we can represent it with the th now it belongs to the table head now if we, now if you try to see the output so the automatically the h the html will try to give the bold and also 
it will make the center the column the data which is present in that particular column it will be center okay so now we are able to distinguish between the table data and also between the table header now this is now we will be able to understand that this is a table header okay which represents the name of each column heading of this each column and this all belongs to the table data now we are able to understand this one right so this is how we will be uh, creating a simple data simple table using this table element so now what we have understood about this one this is our simple table now what we have understood for creating the tabular data so we need to use the table element and for creating each row we need to use the tr and for creating the each column we need to use the td so table is used for creating the table which 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 consists of tr td and all those things and true for creating a row you need to create it with the tr inside that row each column will be created using td element and if you want to create the heading means so instead of giving the td you need to give the th so this is how we will be creating about the simple table in the html in the next video we will see somewhat uh, more advanced into this table thing so we'll see about that one hope you understood about this simple data simple table creation in html if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you